Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to use the order of operations with expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this expression here, 2 to the 3rd plus 3 to the 4th divided by 3 minus 5 squared. And we have to simplify this expression using PEMDAS. This one's interesting, we have a lot of exponents here. So we go through PEMDAS, we have no parentheses, but we have lots of exponents, so that's next. So each one of these exponents I'm going to simplify. 2 to the 3rd is an 8, plus 3 to the 4th is an 81. We divide by 3 here, minus 5 squared is a 25. Quick way to get 81 if you don't know, 3 times 3 is a 9, and then we have 3 times 3 again, which is a 9. So, if you want to see that, 3 to the 4th is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 9 times 9, 81. Quick ways to do that, just so you can see that. Anyway, segue over, back to the problem. We have addition, subtraction, and division. Division comes next in our order of operations here. So we have an 8 plus 81 divided by 3 is a 27 minus a 25 here. Addition and subtraction are in the same class, and so we go read left to right. We have addition and subtraction. Addition, let's go first here. 8 plus a 27. Oh, what does that come out to be? Is that 35? Right? 3 from 5, 8 gives you 35. 34. No, 35. I got it right. Minus 25. 35 minus a 25 is a 10. And that's it. Subtraction was last, and we have 10 over there. Oof, you think I know my addition here. Anyway, I hope you learned something here on how to use the order of operations with expressions. If you did, despite my little mess up here, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.